happy Friday and welcome back to Glitz Assassin Soft Live Tutorial. I am so excited to be back with you with another live tutorial because guess what? I am going to surprise you with uh, one of us who kind of like a press on set that I am playing around with. And then look at this, what I did. And I am going to recreate some of this for you. And we're going to using is uh, liquid can powders, the newest collection. This is like um, the number seven orange soda. And then the number 10 is ocean breeze. And then also I'm going to using this cool violets and a golden sea. And we'll see how it's going to turn out this too. And then with this is really is cool. Um, bright and vibrant glitter so you do not need to get a lot to go with this it's little go a long ways and then that's why it's coming with perfect size and then also it's just great a value for your is investment and of course i'm gonna have a crystal clear it's number 26 right here we're going to need it as well and let's get started and then and we did swatching all the beautiful is uh glitter colors yesterday if you miss it don't worry i saved them all on our igtv facebook videos and youtube and also we are posting it on is oh my god is when i'm moving it's just like running everywhere so i saved them all there so on the videos you can definitely see it but however it looks so much different oh put this upside down it's so much different in person. It's so sparkle and it's bright and really vibrant. You have to see it in person. Grab one of the jars. It's really cool and it's so stunning and smaller size of um, acrylics. And then you can able to um, expand it out. So let's get started. And I'm going to using is orange soda and ocean breeze. I'm gonna create this like really cool. So on the background, I did two colors. You can see a little bit hint of ocean breeze right here, and then um the orange sodas right here. So it looks that's make it really cool stunning in the background. And I wanna do some foil, and then we are going to either can do um look at that. I can do that in like a full nails glow in the dark. Hi Mika, thank you so much. All right, so let's get started with this too. Remove that zone on these sides, and then a cool violet. We're gonna do it later. Hello, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and of course TikTok viewer if you are, and Twitch as well. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. And then I am going to start with uh, brush number 12, Gliss Acrylics brush, 100% Kolonsky's um, hair. And I'm gonna start with the Soda Orange and then Ocean Breeze. So either way, whichever you wanna go first, which is, this is really cool about this glitter collection that is you don't need a lot to go uh, with. And little go a long way so i'm gonna start with either way you can start with your ocean breeze first and i just need just a little like it just a little bit because i want just a hint and then of course you keep in mind you are going to cap it with the crystal clear so it's not going to be really thin for you at all it's going to be perfect and I'm gonna blend it down. Hello, hello everyone. I'm not looking up the screen right now, but thank you so much for tuning in. And brush it down. Just blend it like this, okay? And then let it set and then we are going to Pick the orange soda, smaller beads, and we're just gonna do it right and half of the nails. So you see that there are so many different ways to do ombre. You have seen me do so many different. I did this with the free edges first, half the nails on the lower nails first, and then do it on the kitty cold sick um, second. And then this time you see me do it on the cuticle because we're doing it really thin 
with us going to cap it with crystal clear and now if you are really like this you can cap it with crystal clears but if you want to add anything else on absolutely you can all right I'm gonna cap it with crystal clear for the snails. Yesterday you see me doing just solids colors swatching with you and today we're gonna dive right into different designs. And importance when you cap, you can cap right here where is yours uh, oceans breeze and yours orange soda together. If you want, you can start from a kitty coast area just in case you are like just starting it out. You can definitely cover the kitty core and protect it without getting a filing too much off. Getting this a little bit more. Let it set. All right, looks stunning though. I put a lot of charms on it. All right, so let it set for just a few seconds. And moving on, the second nails we are gonna using. This is the first nail that we're using. Let me switch it this way. It's the Ocean Breeze and uh, Orange Soda. And then now we're gonna do Cool Violets and then is golden sea so either way you can either go whatever want you want to go first oh thanks so much kim lens so either want either way you can you can reverse it however you want you will never go wrong with that so submerging my brush into the monomers and pick up that cool violets i know kim lens is my fave too it looks so beautiful and then I'm gonna blend it. And as I say, this glitter is so beautiful in person when you see and you just need a little bit. It's like really iridescent, like it's really trendy. It's like glitter, but it's like, how do I say more of a hidden look? It's really cool and trendy. You have to see in a person though. Look at that. If I teal it, you can see that. And then I'm gonna submerge my brush into the monomer again and then pick the smaller beads from Golden Sea and blend, blend, blend. Keep in mind you do not need to do really thick, okay? Thin because we are going to and cap it with crystal clear that is is for a lot of you who want it easy with yours is nail art design and keep your bristle flat and really gentle a uh, blend it but not pull all the way because if you pull it hard you're going to pull all of your powder off it's setting right now so you want just guiding it Instead of just really aggressive, it's like a treat like a baby. Pat, it's really gentle. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. Sorry. This one is cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm loving this. This is like it's so soft enough that you can do so much with it. Here? I mean, not here. So you can't key it under the LED lights. It's just air dry. And then let it set for that one. And you want to see one more? We can do two nail designs. But then I'll show you a two different colors. Let's do like star spring vibes. And this one like have a lighter peaches color. Mm -hmm. You do that, do green. Little green? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let go in that one. Mm 
in the meantime we're waiting for the nails to be set i'm gonna do another ones for you i can do all day long for you never gonna get tired of it all right so let's pick up that uh, what's the name of this one i forget um spring vibes mm -hmm. spring vibes we want to make sure that you have one collection of a glitter. You have pretty much everything you need from like from spring, summer, fall, and winter. This one is so cool. And blend, blend. Even you just leave it alone like this and cap it with crystal clear. It looks so beautiful. And it's so easy to use. It's really beginner friendly. Like so beautiful. And let's go in submerge. Clean my brush really well and submerge it in to the monomer and pick up my uh, little green. Really vibrant. And Blend it right here where is ombre with the spring vibe. I see a little cute butterfly right there. Okay, let her land it right there. She can be there. It has so many different like glitter in it to give it so much dimension. All right, it has saved you so much time. Okay, I'm gonna cap it with crystal clear. So now if you want more, like if you can add like anything else on it beside just already have a beautiful glitters ready to go. You can also add anything else you might want it. Like for instance, this beautiful charms. If you don't want anything, that's B5 too. And then you can cap it after you're happy with the glitter all right here for not here i mean set let's set you can do mix and match with any colors it's so beautiful with whole collection of 18 colors it's perfect for so i'm gonna clean my brush really well and shape it back into its og its original shape with glitz brush, it's never been crimped, so it will keep its OG shape like this. So it's helped so much with your scripting, your ombre, and doing anything else. Someone move this on the sides, and then can you close this one? I want this one. This one is for crystal clear, and I always use crystal clear for or uh, cap it. Ah, yes, exactly. Yeah. I love them all. Okay, so let's get in. I'm gonna shape this one really quick, just buff it. is still setting for me so I'm gonna wait for the first one so beautiful let to um, top coat on both of them 
and you want to do one uh, matte top coat to do one sword you think you want to do which one you want to see one two three four five One, two, three, four, five. Maybe sword. Looks cool with the sword though. Oh, that one. This one looks cool. All right, let's do this one with Chanfer Foy. The newest Chanfer Foy's box are here. I'm going to do this one first. So we're going to do, of course, I am going to using my Chanfer Foy Bestie. It's premium IHO Chanfer Foy, and you are going to care it's under the LED lights for 30 seconds only. This is my favorite. I love it. It's so beautiful. Oh, and tie the nails. Okay, 30 seconds. Look at the newest Transfer Voice box. Grab it before it's gone. It's so beautiful. Even this one is like so stunning. And then we have that one. I'm going to use the other one. I'm going to put it here. This one I saw Mika did it. Mika did this one in the morning, I think. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. And the tie dye. Oh, upside down. And then. And more. It's like summer spring vibes. It's like palm tree. And flowers. This box has everything we need. Oh, I make a mess. I'm going to clean it up. There you go. Hey, Kathy. Hello, Mika. Thank you. Hello, my mom, mommy. Mommy, thanks so much for coming in. My mom was there. Debating. I'm going to show you here. I like this spot right there. That's why I did it on. So you like this so much, you can just prepare it right here. Line it right in the middle. Give it a good press in the middle and then press it on this side. Make sure you rub it really well so then it is going to chamfer. Beautiful for you. Uh, where's my tweezer, my dual end tweezer? I love uh, this too. In the other hands, make sure you don't poke yourself with this is really sharp. And then you can pick your stickers, which is like, it's really handy because it's two in one. You can pick even really like, let me show you. Get really closer to the edges. So you won't rip your crystal, uh, your uh, sticker off. You see that? How it's getting really nice. And then you can use this one to, adheres it really well. You already have pre adhesions in there, but then you are using the motion of pressures using that. And 
the rubber end it will completely is sticking on the nails you can do it using it for your stickers as well as your chamfer foil ready that's it and then you don't want anything else you can just put the no wipe top coat and you keep it for 60 seconds it's good to go it's chamfers everything Jenny, thank you so much. All right, so let me put just a little bit of crystal on. You don't need a lot to put just a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and using condensed blue gels, which are first step from our Trifecta three-step methods. And just a good layer, not too thick, not too thin, because you are going to using this to optimize is few crystal on to the nail so you don't need to load it's really heavy and thick because it's going to flood the crystal because i'm putting like a ss4 and ss6 so it's not going to be really thick at all no wipe top coat and then i'm going to put it if you want matte finish you are going to add the matte uh, no wipe top coat, but if you are going to do a shiny, we're gonna do is no wipe top coat shiny. So not by naturally, we do have a lot of foil like this. So you wanna check them out under our transfer foil collection on our shop. Yes, on our website under shop. Go to shop, go to transfer foil collection. I don't wanna do this one. I don't want this. This is this is so perfect and it's perfect with the uh, with ours glow in the docks. Beautiful. Okay, one more. You will never go wrong with this kids because I just told Mika Leah what I told you all all the time that it's just literally is everything I wanted to do. But it has everything. Look at that. I just want a little ping in here. This is another. And that's about it. And you can add more as you wish. Feel free. That's it. Perfect. All right, here on the LED lights for 60 seconds. That's nice. Save me so much time. I don't have to see in drawing all of those. All right. You want to see foil again? Another one? Which one should I do that? Really cool, huh? hmm? Sword? Okay. Should I do a sword for you? You want to see the painting sword, how easy it is? Or more foil? Oh, this one looks cool though. Look. Oh, do one more. Do one more with the yellow, I think. Mm -hmm. The yellow. Mm -hmm. Look, the flame. Oh, this one, the flame is looks cool. The flame. This one looks cool. Should we? Yeah. And then we can put a crystal placement on it. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of crystal for you. <gasps> what is that? It looks so cool. Let me put your in there. All right, boy. All right, so another layer of uh, premium IHO Chan for foil. And this, with this one, you are going to cure only 30 seconds again. We have, you know that we have another nail, so. Let's say the last one for the sore. Uh huh? You know what? Mm. I suppose we do the other one. No, the other one. This one, the third one. Mm -hmm. But the other one, which is this one. This one. All right, here for 30 seconds. Hey, nay, nay. Okay, so we wait for this one. We should do um, top coat 
matte top coat on this i'm going to show you how to do really simple sore matte top coat in a little bit so you won't be confused yeah mm -hmm. so i want to do this for you we should do this for you in pan it looks much better i think you think so yeah, i like the yellow one yellow is is offset now Um, with a little flame. Okay, don't do too much flame. Okay. 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 Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. No more. To this one. Right. No right more. here. Right here. I like that right here. Okay. Do where's this? Like? Where's this one though? Come from? It, from the other side. It's it's good. I think you like that. I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. So when it cures really nice and properly, you can see that it sticks like suck right into the foil with the premium I hold chance before. You will never go wrong at all. And then of course, with the chance foil bestie, it has two bestie. It has premium I hold chance foil, and it has the tweezers. So it will does all the work for us. It's gonna stick my nail and my hand in there. I feel that it's not going to chamfer my fingerprints in there. Okay, I'm gonna do slow motion so you can see that. Like, you get a little bit of the flame. I love it. Mm -hmm. Then you don't have to sit for half an hour drawing the flame. Come right up. Where my little LV? Here you go. This way. I got it. There you go. It jumped for back again. You know what? Because this one earlier, we didn't buff it. And he'll give me the the third ones that I didn't buff, but hey, it champion is really perfect. Right there. It's only when I didn't press it hard enough. I know why it's so picky about this. Because I'm gonna put crystal on it. Chance for everything. And that is from this box. Number two. 109. Yeah. Okay. The newest one, I think. All right. So, of course, we'll go in with our condensed glue gels. What else do you want to do in this one? Hmm? Just maybe a little bit. It's just a few. Just a little bit on the kitty goals areas, yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe a few stuff. Thick density. Few star. Like mm -hmm. really thick. Mm -hmm. You can see that it's so thick. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. All right. So of course we are going to using a no white top coat. Floating on the top. This is a second step from our third three step methods to keep all your crystals stay in one place. And I have my really beautiful glow in the dots. Let me put that one in there. Add some, uh, it doesn't have greens. So maybe I'll add some. How about yellow? Maybe a green. Do you know how excited it's like in the morning I see me got it's really beautiful. Really beautiful designs with this box, boy box. She gonna show us more designs with this box too. Can't wait to see it.
and put some beads on. I just want to cover the foil because it's so beautiful. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. And I'm going to add some beads on. The best way to do with the beads is between your crystals. This beautiful designs you, if you are doing for yourselves, congratulations. You're going to have so much fun with this beautiful designs with Chantal Foy Ombre Acrylic. If you are doing it for your, your wonderful clients, it's going to be upsells for your business when you are pricing this. Because it's first, you're doing a three techniques going on right here. Your, your ombre acrylic. And then yours um, apply chanfer foil. And then yours um, apply crystal placement. So like $15 for this nails. If it's not more because five dollars for your ombre if you're doing it like that price and five dollars for chantel foil and five dollars for your crystal at least i mean minimum so if you're having a client so asking for these designs, you want to make sure you are consult with the clients and you can share with them. You can add crystal here. Absolutely. Um, one of Glyce Brand Ambassador Dom. She did beautiful by hand painting and drawing and put crystal on. It's beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous as well. So I'm going to stop at this one right here. And then it's really cool. What is that? Like a little summary face or maybe bubble or whatever. Looks so cool. Okay, I'm going to cure this one for 60 seconds. And moving on to the third nails, which is the bonus nail. Supposed to be second nails. And the other ones I just finished is bonus. But we did heel scrap me the, the other one first. So she would do a sore because it's so beautiful to do a sore. So I'm going to do is... Big stone on it. Clear. Know. Should we do sore or no? Nothing? Or should I do a big designs on it? You can both. So this sore at the top, be the top or bottom, uh, and then get big crystal setter in the middle. Mm -hmm. All right. So Matt Taco, if let do some sore then, huh? Let do some drawing, some sores for you. So I'm going to do a matte top coat. So this is the matte top coat will help grab the gel painting is really nicely. All right, here for 60 seconds. And then I have my, it's beautiful all the time, a gel painting in the bottle. I don't know why I have extra one because I think I thought I was missing that. So I bought that one. So I'm going to use pink. And we did this one last time, do we? Should we do yellow? You can do pink and yellow. Or you can stay the same thing with green and pink. Green and pink? Mm -hmm. Or aqua. Okay. Ah, okay. And then I'm gonna using either that is gold. You can use a gold or I have even like a gel painting in a bottle in the pot. This is so beautiful as well. So if you have this, it's great. If you don't have, you have a gel painting in the pot. You can definitely rock that too. Oh, hey, man, man. We hope things is better for you. We have some storm over here too. But good thing you have power. Keep finger cracks. Oh, stay safe. Stay safe. Nay, nay. All right. And the bra 
brush is really precise. You can have so much fun with this. And the gel painting is so pigmented. I'm going to get most of it off. All right. And start with this pink and aqua. And hold a stationary with your fingers. Want finger doesn't matter whatever you want. Do you want to do a pinky or your rings finger to just support the other hand? So then this hand will be shaky. You can do the same thing like that with yours um e-file as well. And if you are doing your as manicure using nippers and um for your pedicure too, it's good to have a support. So it's really easy, you press it down and then keep it like flat, like using its parallels first. You're gonna using a 45 degree angles and to get the stroke you want and then you're gonna do it like, keep it parallels with the nails and you will never go wrong with this. The pigment is just amazing and also it's not runny and it's really opaque. We've been doing, uh, using this for like past couple years and it's so beautiful. Perfect for skinny fringe and a sore nail art so you can do is like when you start you can make it thicker so source and then you gradually doing it smaller however you would like you'll never go wrong with the source it's really cool all right and i'm gonna do touch it up and flash key it really quick we're moving on to the next color you can, if you stop right here, if you want to do just that one. All right. All right. Train stations underground look like Titanic Star Wars. Hi, Neil X. How are you? All right. So next one, we are using aqua colors. It's really precise. I'm going to get just enough. I'm going to go and start from the end. And it go backwards. And you can see that I still support my nails. I'm in my hand. And I'm going to pick it thicker on the other and opposite and draw it back up. I'm going to go back this way and go it back. Same thing with this. Okay, but I'm gonna do this under because I don't wanna cover the beautiful butterflies there. You can do on the top if you want to. All right, flash here. And then we are going to using gold. It's really, really pigmented. Just need just a little bit. And 
and I'm going to start from the other end first. Hold on. You see that how I press on my ring finger to get support and keep first 45 degree and keep the brush flat as I go along. Same thing with this sore. And then with this one. All right, here for 60 seconds. Wow, well, flash here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Crystal? Crystal. Flash here. Okay. And then we're going to do some just a little bit crystals. I use these two colors, the pink and the aqua. I rub too much on that so you can see the name. But it's aquas and it is. I understand. Pink. Let me stick I just lose some of the golden part. So. Condensed glue gel is the first step from the crystal trifecta. And then just really, it's really thick density. You can see that I use just a little bit. You pick up the first time, you feel like, oh my gosh, it's so thick, which is congratulations, you get the right one. So just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't get a big lump of condensed glue gel. It's really thick and get too much, it's gonna be impossible to spread them out. You just do Probably. a little thin coat of floating the no wipe top coat on the top. This is the second stop from our three step method crystal placements. You have like the troubleshootings with uh, crystal placement, charm placement, and change placements, anything else for the nails. This is going to be your bestie. So I'm not going to put a beautiful like a centerpiece here because I want to keep my swords remaining it's really nice. So I am going to. Oh, nice. I want I want this one. What do you think? See? Tempting. But I put it back. So tempting with that shape. But you can do it if you want to. I'm going to stay with the beautiful theme, which is pink. Pink and green. I don't know how about you, but I really enjoyed this video today. It's really cool though. It's so exciting. I don't know why. Sorry, just me. Because... I am. I, I just want to say here. It's like, hey, hey, hello. I'm going to stay right here. I'm not going anywhere. Right, so let it stay there. Okay, I'm going to add some beads on. I feel I'm doing my nails. Put beads on. You can go without beads, but I love to add some beads on to make it look like finished looking. And I'm at this one right here. The best to add the crystal and then the bead together. It's added between beads, uh, between crystals, and between the two crystal, two edges of the edges of two crystal. That's, that's what I mean. And then or the between crystal and frame, or between crystal and the bars. If you need to adjust anything, just um, turn your other end, which is it's also a dot tool, and it's adjusting. So then you don't 
get all of yours. Um, all of your uh, glue gels. I'm gonna stick it on the top of your wax. And all right. Adjusting it, adjusting, adjusting. Can you still see, see my butterflies? Mm -hmm. My butterflies is yep, kind of yep, covers yep. half of it. No, you still see them all. Yeah. All right, sore and crystals. You can leave it alone as you wish. It looks so beautiful. This time went by so fast, three nails already, and seemed like we didn't do anything yet. This one, so beautiful and stunning. And we did the first ones with the colors. I believe it is the um, ocean breeze and uh orange soda which is a newest glitter collection so so gorgeous it looks so beautiful in person though it can't tell much under the camera but it looks so trendy it is a trendy uh crystal collection a glitter collection and the second one is was um cool violet and golden sea i try to remember a lot of colors and the third ones we have it's spring vibes and little green so i'm gonna add some um you think let me see i'm gonna do a third step of crystal trifecta which is can you see oh this one looks so beautiful right here exactly what i'm talking about There you go. Do you have glue? I will see some one more time. Right. This isn't glue. This is a third step for your crystal trifecta. It's going to not only double secure, triple secures all your crystal placement. And we're going to take this cap off, but then keep this. Do not do it away. And I am going to do this little exam first. And if I feel scratchy, I'm going to squeeze just that much. You see that little, little go a long way. You don't want to squeeze it out too much and it's going to flood your crystal as well as it's going to make your crystal it looks really dull. And also it get, looks lumpy on around the crystal. It doesn't look nice. Here for 60 seconds. And we are going to do the same thing with the second nails. And usually when I do the clients, I will do the precision glue gels after i finish all crystal placement so then i can get all of them done at once so i'm gonna do seals on the top of the beads and the frame uh, on the charms but not on the top of the crystal because you see that how sparkle it is if you top coat it with the glue gels it's going to get really dull and it destroys the cut and the sparkle of it so next time you seal you're going to squeeze just that much don't need a whole lot little go a long way if you have like really hard time with crystal placement and looks so gorgeous and then the next few days it's gonna coming off or is it coming off and it's so wet underneath so this condensed glue gel no wipe top coat and precision glue gel will be your bestie for the crystal placements and it will never gonna betray on you so same thing i'm gonna seal it on the top of the uh beads and check 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 around the base of the crystal you don't want to be on the top. You want to just seals on the top of the beads only and on the sides of the crystal. All right. And then in just in case that you want to seal more, absolutely flash here for six, uh, 10 seconds and then cure more and apply some more of precision glue gels and cure. So 60 seconds. Don't lose this red cap. Sophia, thank you. All right. Don't lose the red cap and then close it. 
here is the final looks for It looks good under the this one right here. No? Yeah, you want to provide you one black. Gray. All right. Let's see. So beautiful. Easy, easy. Here you go. The middle one is your favorite. This is my favorite. I like them all, but this is so stunning. I almost do another one with the flower, but it's so beautiful. Thanks, Sophia. Thank you, Nene. And here is the final looks for all of you. I'm so excited today. It's just really cool when the sun is. I don't know why. It just just me so excited to tune in today with all of you and then create some fun nails for you and as is i love the third the third one is looks so cool though kimlin's i agree oh so beautiful thank you so much everyone i really enjoying it and definitely definitely is i really appreciate it you are tuning in with me and don't forget to to, to turn on the notification so you can always watching uh, our newest contents every weekday and if you have any question regarding to the products i'm not sure that the um the products or the foil the acrylics in where it's located feel free to dm us our team will be really happy to assist you anytime and if you have any question regarding to the shipping, you can definitely feel free to email us at info at .com. Our team will be um, really happy to assist you as well. And uh, the newest for the newest acrylics, glitter acrylics collection is, is theirs available for you to grab one or two of them. It's so stunning to create so many looks. Like my head is spinning because I have so many ideas. I am going to create it for you. This is, we just did like one, two, three, six colors. There's 18 colors to be playing with and it's open stock. So grab it when you know you can, you can get one or two. Absolutely have fun with this. And then all the newest foil is up there. So a trendy, trendy foil collection are theirs. And also the stickers is up there for you to grab. Glow in the dark kits. I'm going to show you glow in the dark kits um, right over there. Oops. And it's theirs for you to grab as well. And the neons, grab it before it's all gone, I guess. This is a this is neon kits. This is the this is neon kits. You get so many a thousand like a thousands of crystal with the special shapes and so many frame silvers and go and oh my gosh I can't wait to create it a lot more. So you all these seeing it's with all the trendies this crystal and this is the. Um, I didn't open it, but you can see through. This is so beautiful. And it's come with like a 9,000 crystals with smaller SS size and a special shape. This is this is the kit number one, glow in the dark. This is kit number two, it's glow in the dark. They are sister kits because all the shape is compatible so well together. So you can have so many ideas of creating beautiful looks. All right, so let me show you the final looks. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you in the next live video. All right, so I don't know which one of my fave. I like this one. Well, I don't know. I like them all, but this is like really cute. It's stunning. so cute. All right, to all my loved ones. And I am uh, going to see you in the next live video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next live video. In the meantime, stay safe and take care of yourself. I will see you then.
Bye, everyone.